Aloha YouTube. My name is Daniel Green and I've got a website called MrGreenEnergy.com. I also have a uh, Facebook page here called Run Your Car 100% on Water. And here there's tons of information that uh, illustrates how several inventors here in the past have been able to disassociate the water molecule for its hydrogen content and use that on board the vehicle to propel uh, the, the, the car. So we, we simply believe that it's a lot easier to extract hydrogen from water instead of oil. Um, it's tr traditionally thought that it takes more energy to disassociate water than you can get on the back end. Well, as compared to what? If you fairly uh, add up the amount of energy it takes to find oil, drill for it, refine it, and ship it across the planet without spilling any, that's going to uh, spoil our environment. Um, it, it's a really a, a no-brainer that uh, we should be acquiescing to technology that's a lot cleaner and uh, safer for our environment. For instance, here, like over 30 years ago, Jack, uh, Jack Nicholson was part of a company that uh, split water with solar energy and used that to fuel vehicles. Wouldn't it be great if someone came up with a cheaper fuel of limitless supply? Well, in California, some businessmen claim they have. Let's hear this story. One of the people with money in it, pretty well known to most people. It's Jack Nicholson, all right, and the car he's driving is unique. It's a standard Chev with a standard engine, but what makes it unique is there is no gasoline in the car. It's running on hydrogen, and the hydrogen was... Same. Gasoline is essentially a hydrocarbon. We're already using hydrogen as fuel, so our point is to extract that from water. Here's another gentleman that was uh, able to run a vehicle completely off water. Here's his name right here, I can't pronounce it, but uh, there's plenty of information out there that tells us that this is a uh, viable alternative. Here uh, some studies were done in Malaysia and it says that using a harmonic wavelength of 808 nanometers within a laser, the hydrogen and oxygen yields were found to be greater than the normal Faradaic e efficiency. Now what this means is they were able to split water and have more gain on the back end. They're, they're breaking the laws of thermodynamics here and it's been done by several people. Um, here's some people talking about uh, ditching the uh, traditional spark plugs and using lasers to ignite the uh, fuel air, air mixtures. Um, here's a uh, spark plug company. If I can get to it over here. These guys are getting ready. Oh, it's not ready yet. Anyhow, these guys are getting ready to uh, start selling laser spark plugs. So let's check it out. I know, you're thinking, lasers? Really? But in today's world, they're already in use on large stationary engines in industrial settings. Most of these engines are fueled with natural gas. Natural gas fuel has ignition challenges related to conventional spark ignition. Natural gas requires more spark energy to ignite the air-fuel mixture. This results in much shorter spark plug life. Laser ignition systems are being developed right now by many automakers. As you saw in Module 1, with many engines transitioning to direct fuel injection, real estate in the combustion chamber is becoming scarce. The current crop of spark plugs is just too big, and that takes up too much of that valuable space. This is what's driving the development of plugs like the Autolite Revolution HT series, as well as 12 millimeter and even 10 millimeter conventional spark plugs. The need for combustion chamber space for direct injection, multiple valves, and leaner air fuel ratios are prompting automakers to look for ways to improve ignition. Conventional ignitions have difficulty igniting these ultra lean air fuel ratios. A standard spark plug ground electrode of today can quench the spark enough in a lean burn engine to cause misfires. However, a laser ignition can be delivered through thin fiber optic cables to the combustion chamber. A laser spark plug of tomorrow may be a device connected to these thin fiber optic cables that uses mirrors to focus the ignition points to different areas of the combustion chamber. The result is a more complete burn with fewer or no misfires. Another very tangible benefit of a laser-based ignition is its ability to fire different types of biofuels. With constant research... Biofuels as is HHO made from water. 
in this little advertisement they mentioned that lasers work better with natural gas. Well, a natural gas ignition is very, very similar to hydrogen. So I see an opportunity here to combine existing hydrogen gas injector fuel cell technology with these laser ignition systems. This picture here in the middle here is a, a set of Stanley Meyer uh, hydrogen gas injector fuel cells. Here's one on the right here as well. Essentially this fitting right here, if you see my arrow, uh, that is where the water hooks up. So when you turn your ignition on, you're priming this electrolysis device with water. So you're, you're creating the fuel within the, uh, the spark plug and then using a, later, a laser to ignite the ionized HHO mixture. Here's another uh, it's a pretty simple drawing of the uh, mechanics of how it works. Here's another picture of a uh, three-prong laser spark plug. So here's some pretty good illustrations of uh, what we're trying to do here, and that is create spark plugs that turn water into fuel on demand to propel the vehicle. And I would be stoked if you had a, a set of these. <laughs> I would be stoked if everybody had a set of these. So. Uh, why don't you check out our our Facebook page? I can find it here. It's uh, Run Your Car 100% on Water, and check out our website, MrGreenEnergy.com. You'll see here that there's a lot of information that uh, shows that uh, we can run our cars on pure water right now. In fact, I asked a group here. Uh, over 127 people are 100% positive that cars can run on pure water because they look at the information provided here. And um, look, I'm just a just an average guy like everybody else. But if you're curious about my experience, close already. If you're curious about my experience in into this. Uh, here's a picture of my um, van that was operating with a solar powered hydrogen cell about five years ago. Anyhow, uh, this, is was my, this was my first attempt at making one of these videos. I hope I get better at it in the future and I hope you enjoyed the information. We'll see you in uh, the group page. Aloha.